We've got an extremely serious program, extremely serious because it's about the possible impending attack on Iran and the consequences of such an attack. Uh, on September the 13th, the uh, Jerusalem Post reported that the U.S. is to attack Iran in eight to ten months. And we need to talk about that, and who better to talk about it than one of the best informed and extraordinary people who comes ever comes on this program, none other than our resident prophet, John Hogue. Now, what is some dreamy prophet going to come up with? Well, not John Hogue's no dreamy prophet. We hold his feet to the fire every summer, and every January we have him prophesy for the coming year. And it is astonishing stuff. Partly it is because John is a very smart, very well-informed man. Partly because he is also a real prophet. And we know that because we've seen him hit year after year after year. Welcome to the show, John Hogue. It's great to be back on, Whitley. Well, it's always exciting to have you on, John. And today we're going to be talking about Iran with John Hogan. John's website is hogprophecy.com. There's a great free newsletter just like ours, and uh, it, it, you will not get spammed if you join John Hogue's newsletter. It, it's a private uh, newsletter just like ours. And so do go to hogprophecy.com, subscribe to his email newsletter, and get involved in prophecy and political and social commentary. Okay, John, uh, there is a new ebook up, I believe, uh, called Nostradamus, The War with Iran. Why don't you tell us a little bit about where we are right now? Yes, back in the spring, um, I was compelled to uh, put together a lot of prophetic findings based on the 16th century prophet Nostradamus, and uh, who has long spoken about the importance of Iran, the importance of a return of uh, a Jewish nation into Palestine after a war that lasts six days, a six-day war, and how these two, uh, in in uh, combination with this strange riddle of a true serpent as a symbol for the invaders. Uh, a true which come, serpent, did you say? Yeah, a true serpent, which uh, well, well, is... But I don't want to interrupt your flow. But we're going to need to know what that you you believe that means a true serpent. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm about to say. That uh, it is a the key to uh, like many things with Nostradamus's random codes. It's the key that unlocks a lot of his prophecies to give us an idea of whether they're about our times or near future times. The true serpent is uh, involved with uh, perhaps the Israelis with uh, an attack on Persia, the ancient name of Iran. Uh, it is a an invader that comes through Carmania's coast, which is the Strait of Hormuz. In, in the prophecies, he calls it Carmania by its old name. And the true serpent has been a riddle for four centuries that people have tried to figure out. Mm-hmm. And I've often stated in my books and radio that uh, when you're close to a, an event being fulfilled, the riddles suddenly drop and they become quite clear. The true serpent is the U.S naval navy jack that is a flag that is of 13 uh, stripes red and white stripes with a uncoiled rattlesnake and uh, on it and it's basically the original un- uh, navy jack of the united states navy during the american revolution that back on september 11 2002 on the first year anniversary of the 911 disaster terrorist attack George W. Bush, the President of the United States, had designated that all Navy ships fly uh, that flag until the end of the war of terror is upon them. So this is a significant thing because that flag is not flown. John, just 